You want to see what this thing can do? A little windy. Hey, here's some of the modifications that I did to my fog machine. One, this is an old ass fog machine. They don't even make these no more, but this one's my favorite one. This one's a 700 watt. I think my Chevette or Chevelle, what, Chevy, Shoe Pop Pop Up or whatever is, it's 1300 watts and I think it would just wouldn't do the job right. I'm waiting for a pump for my 400 watt and hopefully that'll work a little bit better, but this one works pretty good. A lot of you guys suggested a Y connector, joint connector, whatever. It seems to work. I backed it up a little bit and it didn't work as well when I shoved the whole damn thing in there. At work, I made these caps for the outtake, output, outtake. Um, this one is a quarter inch and this one is an eighth inch. And if things get really bad, I'm going to add a my old uh, standby, my leech pipe filled with um, frozen water bottles. And um, we'll see how that goes. Um, inside, I'll show you the design inside. It still kind of leaks out a little bit, but I've been trying to work on that. But first, first things first. Okay. Okie dokie. We're going to try this out without the adapters. Here we go. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. That's what I'm trying to go for right there. That's freaking nice. And now I'm going to try the quarter inch adapter. And right now it's not going to do it. It's freaking windy. This is the quarter inch adapter. And I'm going to pop that right in there and we're going to see what it does. And yeah, that is an old ass machine I got in 2012, 700 watts, nothing crazy. Now, this is just with the uh, 8 inch hole, perforated cap. That seems to work out pretty, pretty well. Yeah, I think um, I'm probably going to use the uh, small guy because that looks pretty insane. And I'm using the cheap uh, fog juice because I did buy some froggy's swamp juice and that's and I've tested it out and that's a big difference um the reason why I'm using the cheap stuff is because I'm not going to waste that shit on the good stuff for right now for testing because that shit is expensive 
So I decided to just go grab a, a bottle of regular um, fog juice and I just could, I can't imagine, I could imagine what it's going to do with the good stuff. And that seems to do what I want to do. Um, any thoughts or questions, please let me know. Because this shit, that, it looks really good. And that's, this one is with the, the smaller holes. Um, again, I just try to slow it down a little bit. You guys suggested a Y. I tried that out. It's not painted because um, everybody knows what black looks like. Um, the reason why I put it in a mason jar because I don't feel like emptying it out every time I try to test this shit out. So, um, and it is filled with ice. If anybody wants to know what the inside looks like, in fact, you know what? I'll do that right now before I destroy everything all over the place. I'm going to take this right out and we're going to do this. And we're going to unattach that. What's inside? Okay. What I did was, um, it's like a cross between, uh, I don't know, a vortex type cooler chiller. I do have a tray on there. And it's filled up with ice. And what I did was, is um, since I have uh, one year old baby boy twins, we go through a lot of milk. So I frozen some milk jugs. Threw that in there and and to save some money and I went out and got myself a couple bags of ice um, This right here is made out of stainless steel So what it is is that the elbow on the bottom you can look it up on YouTube on This type of design. Okay, you shut up You had your moment um, And I thought you know if instead of a PVC pipe going up it I might as well just grab a piece of uh, two inch pipe from work because it's metal and it will probably chill a lot faster. I've tried a lot of combinations with putting the cap on this and then putting the cap on that and what I point out is yes I made that on metal because I'm a fabricator welder but um, my thing is you could probably buy caps for these and all you have to do is make your own perforated um, take a drill and just go nuts with it with the eighth inch and take another cap and do it with quarter inch um, I did because everything is pretty much available to me and so far this little guy is working out pretty well and I just did a little burst and it's getting better and better this is pretty cool